In Mahayana Buddhism, Green Tara is the mother of all the Buddhas. She is the Buddha of the heart. Her practice releases us from all fears and dangers. While all the Buddhas can be seen as oneness and omniscient, and therefore practicing one Buddha can be seen as practicing all Buddhas, there is something precious, personal and wondrous about the Wisdom Compassion Buddha, Noble Green Tara. The Song of Longing for Tara is a core prayer and practice, recited by millions for its benefits. Listen now, as Jason Espada recites the Song of Longing for Tara, and follow along with your own recitation using the script in the description. This song not only praises Tara, but it is also a teaching. Who is Tara? What are her benefits? Why is she special in modern times? Practice this twice a day, together with the 21 praises to Tara to bring the blessings and protection of Mother Buddha Tara into your life. At the end of Jason's recitation, listen on as Harishikesh Sona chants the 21 praises to Tara in English. If you enjoy this presentation please see our other videos and podcasts at buddhaweekly.com. Buddha Weekly. Helping to spread the Dharma. A Song of Longing for Tara the Infallible by Lobsong Tempe Gyaltsen From my heart I bow to Divine Mother Tara, essence of love and compassion, the most precious objects of refuge gathered into one. From now until I reach enlightenment, hook me with your great love and kindness to liberate me. By the witness of the three jewels, not just from my mouth, but from my innermost heart and bones, I pray to you morning and evening. Show your blissful face to me, loving one. Grant me the nectar of your speech. Great gurus and small gurus cheat us with their made-up teachings, selling dharma, teaching without comprehension, not observing who is qualified and who is not, being concerned with their own happiness and the eight worldly concerns. Since I can no longer trust friends of this degenerate age, you are my principal guru. Inspire me, Divine Mother, essence of love. Arouse the great power of your compassion and think of me. I take refuge in you, Tara. Like you, no Buddha could ever deceive me. But understanding the odd character of these times, most Buddhas have gone into the bliss of Nirvana. Even though they have great compassion, we have no connection. Since for me there are no other deities, you are my principal deity. Bestow realizations upon me, Divine Mother, essence of love. Arouse the great power of your compassion and think of me. Most Dharma protectors do not show their powers. Tired of those who invoke them, they do not act. Other protectors, lacking insight but proud of their power, may be friendly for a while, but will later do me harm. Since I cannot rely on other protectors, you are my principal protector. With divine action, wisdom, mother, essence of love, arouse the great power of your compassion and think of me. To ordinary view, the names of objects are the same as their meaning. Like this, they produce afflictions and bind us to samsara. When it is time to die, unless I understand the true nature, could a wish-fulfilling gem enable me to carry even a sesame seed with me? Since I do not trust in illusions, you are my real richness. Please grant my desires, Divine Mother, essence of love. Arouse the great power of your compassion and think of me. I cannot rely on non-virtuous friends for even a day. They pretend to be close to me and all the while they have in mind the opposite. They are friends when they wish it and enemies when they don't. 
since I cannot trust in this kind of friend, you are my best friend. Be close to me, Divine Mother, essence of love. Arouse the great power of your compassion and think of me. You are my guru, my yidam, my protector, my refuge, my food, my clothes, my possessions, and my friend. Since your divine quality is everything to me, let me spontaneously achieve all that I wish. Although I am overwhelmed by my habitual uncontrolled mind, please cut these self-centered thoughts so I will be able to give my body and my life millions of times without difficulty to each sentient being. Inspire me to be able to develop this kind of compassion to benefit all. Empower me to cut the root of samsara, self-grasping, and to understand the pure doctrine, the most difficult middle way, free from the errors of extremes. Inspire me to practice as a bodhisattva, turning away from what is worldly, dedicating all my virtues to teaching living beings, never for even one instant thinking of just my own happiness. Let me wish to attain Buddhahood for the benefit of all. Empower me to actualize as much as possible the most subtle vows, and to keep them without a careless mind, thus becoming the most perfect bodhisattva. Outwardly, let me be simple in my practice, while inwardly actualize the depth of the diamond vehicle, with the strong wish to practice the two stages. Inspire me to attain enlightenment quickly for the benefit of all. Divine Wisdom Mother Tara, you know everything about my life, my ups and downs, my good and bad. Think lovingly of me, my only mother. I give myself and all who trust in me to you, Divine Wisdom Mother Tara. Being completely open to you, let us be born in the highest pure land. Set me there quickly with no births in between. May the hook of your compassion and your skillful means transform my mind into Dharma and transform the minds of all beings, whoever they are. They have all been my mother, the mother of one unable to follow the conqueror's teachings. By reciting this prayer three times a day, and by remembering the Divine Wisdom Mother Tara, may I and all beings who are connected to me reach whatever pure land we wish. May the Three Jewels, and especially the Divine Wisdom Mother, whose essence is compassion, hold me dear until I reach enlightenment. May I quickly conquer the four negative forces. If, as long as you live, you recite this prayer three times every day, not just from the mouth, in words only, but strongly linked with your mind, you will have a close connection and will see Tara's face. No hindrances will be experienced and all wishes will be fulfilled. You will have a close relationship with all Buddhas and Bodhisattvas and they will hold you dear. If you recite the homage to the 21 Taras and this prayer, you will attain the Divine Liberating Mother. Colophon This prayer to Venerable Tara, in heart words making his own requests and also non-deceptive to others, was composed by the Buddhist monk Lapsang Tempe Gyaltsen in his 19th year, the Water Mouse Year, 1852, on the third day of the Miracle Month, the second month of the lunar calendar, at Bengar Namgyal Ling. It is sure to have great benefit.
who with your power destroy all enemies Homage to you, striking the ground with your hand And crushing the earth with your majestic foot With wrathful wrinkled face and the sound of whom you fully subdue Seven levels of worlds Homage to you Happy virtues and peaceful Who acts from the eternal Bliss of Nirvana And who with the pure sounds Of Om and Swaha Eliminates the most and wholesome karmas Homage to you Who turns the will of Dharma For truly devoted of the teachings crushing enemies all types of obstacles with the whom and the ten syllable mantra whom is to you with fit stamping and to whose essence is the sacred syllable whom you cause Mount Meru Mandara and Vindhya making all three to tremble and shake Homage to you Holding the moon in your hand Like a celestial ocean of nectar Sound of the pay And the twice uttered thought Are you completely Dispel every poison Homage to you On whom the devas rely And also the lords of all the Gandharvas Your armor of joy A radiant brightness You eliminate Arguments and nightmares Homage to you Whose two eyes are shining bright Brilliant with light Like the sun and the full moon Saying Hara twice And to Tare again You clear and eliminate Epidemics Homage to you Whose pure body, speech and mind Are perfect with the strength And the power of peace Suppressing Maras Don zombies and Yakshas With the most exalted Syllable to If you enjoyed this presentation please subscribe. Please consider supporting our mission Spread the Dharma on Patreon at patreon.com slash Buddha Weekly. Thank you. Buddha Weekly, helping to spread the Dharma. Thank you.